Time has many different units, the majority of which you'll already be familiar with. In your exam, you may need to convert between these different units of time. Shown here are some of these different units that you'll need to remember. So 60 seconds in one minute, and then we can carry this on. So there's 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, and so on. 365 days in a year, 52 weeks is also a year, 12 months is also a year. Then we can also have groups of years where 10 years is a decade, 100 years is a century, and so on. We can also split an hour up into fractions of an hour. For example, you might say half an hour, and you can see that means 30 minutes here. You can also say quarter of an hour, that's 15 minutes, or three quarters of an hour, that's 45 minutes. You can split it up into even more fractions than this if you like to. For example, we could say two thirds of an hour is 40 minutes, or maybe even one third of an hour is 20 minutes. You'll be expected to work with fractions of an hour in your exam. Times of the day can be displayed either by a 12 hour clock or a 24 hour clock. And there are some differences in how you read these. A table is shown here comparing the two. So midnight, you can see on a 12 hour clock, that's, a, that's 12 a.m. So it's 12 in the morning effectively. Um, so as it changes over to the next day. But on a 24 hour clock, that's shown as 0000. zero, zero, zero. And then in the mornings, they all look pretty similar after that. So you can see like 4.30 a.m. and then 4.30, 6 a.m. and then just 6 and so on. And then we reach midday and it still looks the same. But then you'll notice in the afternoon, it gets a little bit trickier. 3.30 is supposedly equivalent to 15.30. And that's because the 24 hour clock shows effectively how far you are into the afternoon. So here you are three and a half hours past midday because 15 take away 12 is free. So this is still 3.30, midday being 12. If you're ever given a time in a 24 hour format, if you're struggling to read the time just from that, you can subtract 12 hours from it to be able to tell the time. For example, this here, we could do 22.45. Then if we just take away 12 from the hours, you'll get 10.45. So 22.45 is equivalent to 10.45 in the evening or if you found this video useful, why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done in a written solution format that explains exactly how to solve the problem. So here you can see, I didn't quite get this one right, so I'll read the written solution and then hopefully I'll be able to figure out the problem.